so guys welcome to yourpedia education so here today in this video i'm going to discuss with you one more sample question for this mains exam of cgp dtm see i have told you you need to take question in such a way for practice that they involve lot of relations and lot of concept together so one of the sample problem i have taken today that involve the law of conservation of the energy or energy equivalence relation when you do transformation from time domain to frequency domain and the concept of filtering so you can see the question given here is that an input signal which is x of t is equal to this one is applied to low pass filter this is a low pass filter mentioned here with frequency response whose frequency response is given here and find omega c you need to find the cut off frequency of that low pass filter such that the energy of the output signal is half of the energy of the input signal see obviously you have a low pass filter somewhat like this is it clear whose frequency response is mentioned above here and he is saying that you have the input signal x of t obviously you will be getting some output signal after filtering see what is the purpose of filter low pass filter is saying here that this is the pass band of the frequency this is the pass band of the frequency and this is the stop band or attenuation band means whatever input frequency comes in this range from 0 to omega c they will be equally transmitted to the output and rest all will be attenuated so he is asking that energy of y is equal to you can see half of the half of the energy of input so you need to basically satisfy this condition under such condition if my output signal energy is this one what i need to adjust this cut off frequency obviously this is a frequency axis right so guys you know whenever we talk about the energy there is a energy equivalence relation there is a energy equivalence relation which was given by the parseval's energy relation which was given by the parseval's energy relation or parseval energy theorem what it says it says doesn't matter if your x of t is in pair with frequency equivalence x of omega since our concern here is to calculate the cut off frequency so we need to do the frequency domain analysis right so see we have the input signal in the time domain so we have the filter through which we are passing this signal we will be getting some output signal as i told you whatever input frequency will be there from 0 to omega c they will be kept as it is rest all will be attenuated so examiner is asking that you need to make sure in this problem that the output signal energy is half of the input signal energy you need to adjust this omega c accordingly see you might have studied the concept of energy spectral density that energy is distributed throughout the frequency so you need to pass such amount of frequencies of the input signal to the output that they contribute the 50 percent of the input signal energy this is the concept basically so what energy equivalence relation which is the parseval energy relation says if you are making a transformation from time domain to frequency domain which is you know represented by this pair if you calculate the energy of the signal in the time domain minus infinite to infinite mod of xt square dt that will be equal to 1 upon 2 pi integration minus infinite to infinite mod of x omega square d omega it means whenever you make transformation from time domain to frequency domain or reverse then there is no loss of the energy or power that is why sometime i call this a parseval energy or parseval power relation law of conservation of energy and power during the transformation or we can write is the energy equivalence relation so this relation plays very very important role here one this relation and second this relation that you must be knowing that low pass filter will be doing here only one task he will be giving the output signal with frequency lying from 0 to omega c only above omega c there will be no frequency reason being that it is the filtering process filter is just used to reject the rest frequency you need to pass only from 0 to omega c and only those frequency omega c will be a number 
विच विल मेक श्योर दैट अप टू ओमेगा सी इफ आई ट्रांसफर द फ्रिक्वेंसीज देन द एनर्जी विल बी हाफ ऑफ द इनपुट सिग्नल एनर्जी सो नाउ इफ आई गो फॉर द सोल्यूशन सो कैन आई से एक्स ऑफ टी वॉज गिवन इक्वल टू ई रेस टू पावर माइनस टू टी यू टी आई गैस राइट सो आई एम श्योर अबाउट दिस दिस वॉज द वैल्यू यस दिस इज द वैल्यू so you know how to calculate energy if i ask you what will be energy of ex it will be integration 0 to infinite e raised to power minus 4t dt if you solve it you will end up getting 1 upon 4 joule okay this is a basic mathematics you all can solve it now the question is what is the energy of y first i need to calculate the y y of t will be equal to x of t convolution with what h of t can we say like this and since our analysis in the frequency domain you know convolution in the time domain is the multiplication in the frequency domain y of omega is equal to x of omega multiplied by h of omega since we know this h of omega is for the filter so can i say y of omega will be equal to x of omega but now there is a constraint only in the frequency range lying between omega to omega c and minus omega c not for other range of the frequency because this was equal to 1 for this range of the frequency only and if i go and take the fourier transform of x of t x of omega you know you can calculate it by minus infinite to infinite conventional method x of t e raised to power minus j omega t dt i'm not going to solve here guys if i put the value like this it will be 0 to infinite e raised to power minus at and it will be e raised to power minus j omega t and dt since your a is 2 i can write this here and simply i will end up getting 1 upon i will end up getting 1 upon 2 plus j omega i can directly write here you all might be knowing the pair that e raised to power minus at ut is pair it is pair in fourier transform with 1 upon a plus j omega so simply a value is 2 here you can see uh, that's why i got 1 upon 2 plus j omega so guys can i say here y of omega will be simply equal to 1 upon 2 plus j omega and that too with the frequency constant from minus omega c to omega c so this is very important stuff so this is the output signal we got now if you go and calculate the output signal energy in the time domain that is the wastage of the time right you know the parseval energy relation which says doesn't matter you calculate energy in the time domain frequency domain you are going to get the same answers if i go ahead guys and solve it what will be energy ey can i say ey will be 1 upon 2 pi integration minus infinite to infinite mod of y omega square and i will get d of omega so guys can i solve it 1 upon 2 pi integration will turn from minus omega c to omega c i will end up getting 1 upon 4 plus omega square and d omega y first of all in this entire range from minus omega c to omega c my y of omega was equal to 1 upon 2 plus j omega in the range minus omega c to omega c is it clear first take the mod that will be 1 upon un root of 4 plus omega square then take the mod square in the relation un root will be cancel so i can solve it as a 1 upon 2 pi integration minus omega c to omega c i can write it 1 upon 2 square plus omega square and d omega right and this must be equal to 1 by 2 half of the input signal energy which was the 1 by 4 this is the input signal energy and why i took this half here why i took this half here because it was mentioned in the question it was mentioned in the question earlier ey is equal to 1 by 2 of the ex ex i had calculated you can see here ex we had calculated here somewhere 1 by 4 joule is it clear i am using this value in this relation nothing else so that's why i have written the result like this one is it clear so if i solve this entire mathematics you might be knowing this integration will give you 1 upon you know 2 tan inverse of omega by 2 reason being 1 upon a square plus x square dx integration 1 upon a tan inverse x upon a that i have used their property so i will be end up getting 1 upon 2 pi and i will getting 1 by 2 tan inverse of i believe omega by 2 and this will be from minus omega c to 
प्लस ओमेगा सी इज इक्वल टू वन अपॉन टू इंटू वन अपॉन फोर सो आई गेस दिस वन अपॉन टू एंड वन अपॉन टू विल कैंसल आउट सो इफ आई सॉल्व इट फर्दर वॉट आई विल एंड अप गेटिंग चेक इट प्लीज सो आई बिलीव आई विल एंड अप गेटिंग वन अपॉन पाई इन साइड ऑफ टेन इन वर्स ऑफ omega c by 2 minus 10 inverse of minus omega c by 2 and that will be equal to let me check again yes this was the value is equal to 1 upon 4 so i can write it 1 upon pi and it was also here i guess minus somewhere else 1 by 2 was here <coughs> 1 upon 2 multiplied by 2 and inside 10 inverse of omega c by 2 and this will be equal to 1 upon 4 this 2 will cancel out can i write 10 inverse of omega c by 2 is equal to pi by 4 and we can write omega c by 2 is equal to 10 of pi by 4 so i can write omega c by 2 is equal to 1 and omega c is equal to 2 radian per second so guys this much cut off frequency we need to settle if we want to transmit the half of the input signal energy to the output if we choose omega c in that filter if we choose omega c see this was the filter if we choose omega c from minus 2 to plus 2 in omega and this was 1 and this was h of omega so i will be getting the output signal energy half of the input signal energy if i choose omega c something else the energy will be different reason being this integration is over the omega variable so i have told you energy is distributed over the frequency and we had one concept energy spectral density that we will be discussing somewhere in the theory line right so final answer will be 2 radian per second so i hope this question is clear to all of you so this was a basically proper conventional question which you can expect in this competitive exam which is being you know uh, conducting or which mains will be conducted in the month of the october so you need to first understand the question then go for the remaining thing right thank you